Hey, back again to do yet another video, EOTS video. I must be totally bored. This is the second one I'm doing today. Um, so here we are. Let's go with uh, card play number three for the first turn of the 42 campaign game. And let's go ahead and do it because uh, I didn't want to play anything else today. And we, we're going to shoot yet another video for EOTS. So here you have the Japanese layout. I tried to increase the resolution to make things look a little bigger, but it doesn't show as much of the screen. So let's pull out the Japanese third card play, shall we? Here it is. Um, they're going to go China operation. Okay, that's the Japanese card for the day. Uh, let me move this out just a little bit. Move it right here. China. We're, we're going to play this as an OC, uh, as you may have guessed. I'm going to go out just a little bit here. Okay, that's that's good resolution. So once again, uh, the the two card as an OC play, and we're going to go ahead and activate combined fleet uh, yet again. And just something I was uh, poking around at the rule in the rule book since I published the last video like a half hour ago, and I was kind of incorrect with the movement of the uh, these three air units to uh, uh, from mainland Japan to Iwo Jima. I, I just assumed that they could. The previous card was a one, so I assumed that they could go five hexes. That's naval movement. It's actually what's the uh, the extended range on the units, and all three of these are uh, four. So it doesn't change a thing because they were coming from Tokyo and Nagoya, and they both make that in three hexes. Their extended range is four, but I. I had you know acted like uh, they could go five hexes which was not the case so uh, the bottom line is they they all could have got to Iwo Jima so it's all good so anyways we're gonna play a China operation as an OC play the, the two card plus the three on combined fleet means uh, I'm gonna activate five units so let's do that let's activate five units and again we're in ISR so they're all going to be Army Air Corps units all right, so here's a unit up here, activate well within the range of combined fleet, and all these units in the Philippines, we're going to activate all three, all four of them in the Philippines. So they all reach uh, this 912 right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hexes away. This unit, these three right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine hexes away. And so let's do all of our movements, shall we? Okay, let's do this unit up here. It's an air unit, extended range is four. So here he goes. Um, he's gonna do uh, two legs of four. One, two, three. Okay, that's one leg, this is as far as he can go. And then the other leg's gonna go one, two, three. So that's his two legs, he's done. Now, the uh, Japanese movement is, um, here we go. Um, and basically, these three nine twelves, three of them, are going to move to two movement points, which will get them into Manila, all three of them. Uh, one, two, three. So all three of them have moved into Manila, and this air unit right here is going to be providing coverage for that battle. So now we have to roll for reaction, okay? The allied reaction. Now, the allies want to play a card? Let's take a look. <coughs> Excuse me. They don't have a reaction card, so they're not going to play. Well, I shouldn't say that. The Japanese player might get wind of that. But no, they're not going to play a reaction card. They're going to roll for uh, just one die. Um, here's the die. One die, ten. So they roll a f five. And the OC on that is a is a four so uh, i'm just gonna take the, take a quick look at that and see what what's going on here now 
the this may be a surprise attack right here because what we have here is we have no allied uh, air there's no allied air to see any of those movements okay none of those movements were seen by allied air so the number is not going to be modified so one moment i just want to double check what this before i'm um going to move ahead as far as uh as far as uh the uh intelligence condition is concerned um so what we have here is uh the reaction player attempts to blah 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 so i had to get a four or less a four or less to modify that intelligence uh, condition the OC is a four and I rolled a five so I think this might be a surprise attack uh, the number like I said the number is not modified because there's no allied air in the area to see any of the movements of the Japanese units um, okay I think we have a surprise attack. Equal to or less. The die rolls. Yeah, it's not equal to or less. So we have a surprise attack on our hand. So let's go to air and naval. Uh, and so what we have is a plus three for a surprise attack now here's the issue that we have we have in manila we have no air or naval units for the allies by the way um th they weren't going to do have any reaction either way okay the allies have really no units to move into manila so but this is a surprise attack and so basically the air and naval units of the japanese of which there are na no naval because they are in isr so the only air unit we have is this 2210 right here um the 2210 and we're going to apply uh, their value after the die roll against a, a ground unit okay so let's go ahead and roll for the japanese now they're getting a plus three because it's a surprise attack okay so here we go um the, here's the japanese die roll um one die ready they roll a three so the japanese roll a three plus eight plus the surprise attack is huge because it mo the three modifies it to a six so which turns in from makes this from a one half to a one okay so they're going to apply 22 hits to the allies now here's what the deal is okay here's the deal here's the two units right here okay the allies can select what unit they want to have killed let me read this um if a player was the only side with air and naval units in the air battle then the hits may be applied to any opposing ground units if opposing air and naval units were present in the battle hits can only be blah okay blah 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 the last ground step in a hex cannot be eliminated due to air and naval hits when sufficient hits are generated to eliminate blah 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 the reaction player chooses which reduced unit will be the last ground step um okay the reaction player chooses which reduced unit will be the last ground step so basically the japanese can eliminate one of these two units okay they can't kill the last one and the allies get to the reaction player chooses which reduced unit will be the last ground step so this unit they're going to keep the 510 and the 210 is going to be killed in air naval all right he's going to deadpool so the japanese just laid 22 points on them and but they can't kill both units okay however we do have a ground attack that's about to go down and we have one two three nines that's 27 
okay, 27 um, against 5. Now let's, let's kick it on over to ground combat results. And then we also have... Um, let's let's do our modifiers here. If after air and naval, the offensive player is the only player with air and or carrier units participating, in the ground, they, they get a plus two to the die roll for air superiority. Um, however, this is let's let's look at the uh, the the terrain here in Manila. That looks like I'm gonna say that's mixed. It's not jungle. We're going to call it mix. So that's going to cancel out the air, <coughs> the air modifier, excuse me. Uh, so it's going to be a straight up roll. So what we have is 27 against five. Okay. So we're going to roll two die here. And the Japanese number is first out of the two. Okay. Uh, here comes two number two uh, a two die roll and a japanese number is first here we go internet dice roll attempt fail what the hell is that let's do it again two die what the f is that internet dice roll attempt failed all right let's do one one die here that's nuts the first this is going to be a japanese number Oh, wait, wait a minute. Two die ten. Here we go. My bad. Uh, I'm just being dumb here. So the, fir the first of the two numbers is Japanese. Okay, so the Japanese get a zero and the Allies get a two. Um, so what we have right here, less than zero, zero, one or two, one half. And the Allies get a two, so they also get one half. So both ground combats result in a one half result. So let's apply the Allied result. They've just hit the Japanese with two and a half. That's nothing. Okay, so they've done no damage to the Japanese. The Japanese have just, well, they've dropped in 27, halved is going, we'll call it, what, 13? 13 that is enough to kill the american unit which is defending it with a 10. so well played by the japanese they we're going to send this guy to deadpool uh the japanese have killed we're going to get rid of macarthur he's going to go to the turn record track um his day is over uh, let me let me get him over here we're going to put him on the turn record track for turn um two cool and so the japanese get to advance after combat and they're going to they're going actually they're going to stay in manila all right what am i talking about the japanese stay in manila they've conquered the philippines um i think the sumar leita leiti uh contingent of al americans is going to go away I'm not sure when that happens i think they're going to surrender but whatever so the japanese are in manila they've to all intensive purposes they've conquered the philippines um that was a nice little operation for them they brought in just enough uh, ground forces to make it happen so now, were you going to uh, post battle movement for that? And what will happen here? We'll do some post battle movement. The uh, uh, the air and naval. Basically, it's basically just air. Um, uh, this guy, he was not involved in any battle, so we're just going to take off his activation, um, deactivate. Uh, the only real unit that can do a PBM right now is that air unit, and we may go ahead and do that. And we're going to deactivate combined fleet, and now these three uh, ground units, they don't do PBM. Uh, we're going to deactivate them. So the only guy that can really do PBM is this 22 uh, 10 uh, air unit right here in Clark Field. What to do with him? We might do something with him. I'm not sure. Um, what, what we'll probably do is just take him down to Manila. 
Okay, we're going to take him one hex. He could have went a lot farther than that. We're just going to take him down to Manila and deactivate him. Okay, so that's the Japanese turn for the third card play. And this is, we're going to be play for operations. That card is out of here. Let me back out one hack, one uh, magnification. So that was, that was a nice little operation. They barely had enough um they barely had enough uh ground forces to do in the uh the uh the, the force that was uh left over in manila but they got it done they definitely got it done and now it's the american card play for turn three it's going to look at the american um let's um I think we're going to play this card right here. The Americans are going to play this card right here. So here's their play. There is a, it's a resource card. Let's expand again so we can maybe read the card. And here's what they got, Operation Vengeance. Immediately remove the Japanese Yamamoto Combined Fleet HQ from its current location. Replace it with the Ozawa Combined Fleet HQ. So they're going to play this card as an event. And that has a big effect. Because you notice the Japanese have been using Combined Fleet Headquarters to do most of their early operations here. So this is going to put... Um, this may be big problem for them because it's going to drop combined fleet to from three to two and also uh, knock its range down from 13 to 12. So let's play this as an event, take combined fleet out. We're going to just throw this. We're just going to delete this and then we're going to find the Ozawa uh, uh, counter. Let's get that. Uh, ally, uh, Japanese, Japanese, blah, blah, blah. Where is it? J uh, Japanese air? What the hell? No, it wouldn't be there. Japanese ground board, Japanese markers. Ozawa. Uh, what the hell? Where is it? Japanese ground. So, oh, here it is. Uh, no, no. Wait a minute, one moment. There it is, Ozawa. So there's Combined Fleet Ozawa. We'll get rid of those. And we're going to put Combined Fleet Ozawa in right there. There you go. So we have a new counter. Um, it goes from three to two. That's the big, big issue right there. And it takes it down from 13 to 12. Um, okay, so that's played as an event. Uh, plays an event and that goes to the pile and hey look at it 18 minutes man we have done it the third card play for EOTS uh, the Japanese now own the Philippines and the Samar Leyte the 1-6 is gonna I think that's gonna surrender when uh, a little later in this turn uh, the Japanese have conquered the Philippines for all practical purposes and the Americans have turned combined fleet from a 13-3 to a 12-2. That that can um, that's going to have uh, benefits down the road, big benefits. So there you have it. I'm going to hit file save, and we're going to upload this to YouTube. And so today I've played two. I've made two videos for EOTS, and um, I'm going to play something else, and make some videos. Maybe we'll get some Civil War action in. Um, all right, I'm out. Take it easy. Bye-bye.